Hey everybody, it's Dagan again. I'm back with another beer product review, and today we're going to be talking about a fairly brand new company called Hometown, Hometown Beard and Body. So I picked up a one ounce oil in the Pina Colada scent. So here is their bottle, the black bottle with the dropper top, and their two ounce poured butter, same scent. And it comes in this little black metal container here. All right, so I'm gonna get into this information about the ingredients, the pricing, what I, the feeling beard, why do I recommend it, all that good stuff. The first thing is going to get into the website, show you that. He does have an Etsy shop, and when it comes to pricing, his oils are $15. He has a poured and oil combo for $35. He has a get it all bundle, which looks like it's gonna be the oil, poured butter, and a whipped butter. For 70, then you have a whipped and oil combo for 40. He has a couple of different belts, woodworking combs here on here to sell as well. And you have a whipped butter for $25. And you have a the poured but poured beard and body butter for $20. And you have a butter combo for $42. Now, if you want to know his scent list, he does actually have a scent list on here. So just above these pictures, you can just click on the read more. And brings up his uh, scent list. Now I actually got the uh, pina colada. So let's go ahead and talk about the pina colada here real quick. It says, yes please. Rum, coconut, pineapple, and lime. Our favorite scent at hometown. So there's really not much to say about the scent. Because it, it smells just like a pina colada. So if you, you know, expect, expect what a pina colada smells like. That's what it smells like. If you like pina colada, you're going to like this. I mean, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the scent. But like I said, uh, not much to say because it, I mean, it just smells like a pina colada. So, but like I said, I enjoyed it and I, I think you will too. All right, so let's go back, back into this website real quick. So if I click on the oils, you know, you had, obviously you had the option that you had the drop down for the scent list, the quantity amount. Uh, but in the description, there, there's no mention of the ingredients. Although you can get the ingredients based off the picture. Uh, but I mean, I'd like to see it in this description as well because if you go to uh, say the, the poured and oil combo, uh, you just have one picture. Uh, you can't see the ingredients for the oil, but you can see the ingredients for the butter here uh, on, on the uh, label. But it's smart. I mean, you can blow it up, but then again, let's don't make it hard for the customer. Let's just add the ingredients in the description. Make it easier for the customer to see and be more likely for somebody to purchase because they can readily see it and they'll know the ingredients because, you know, a lot of customers don't want to uh, purchase something if they're not going to know what the ingredients are. So, you know, that's just some of the couple of recommendations I had uh, about the product and the uh, the website there. So let's go ahead and get into the actual ingredients of these products. Uh, for, the, for the oil, we have apricot kernel oil, ahoba oil, castor oil, coconut oil, argan oil, vitamin E, and I consider this more of a, uh, like a medium type oil. Also, if you didn't uh, mention me notice, I didn't say whether it had essential or fragrance oils, but that's because it's not listed, so maybe that's another recommendation to add on there. Are you using essential or fragrance oils or a combination of both for the scent? So, uh, people may want to uh, know that as well. And same with the uh, the butter. It did not mention whether it's essential or fragrance on there, but the ingredients are for this poured butter is beeswax, cocoa butter, shea butters, mango butters, hip seed oil, castor oil, coconut oil, and jojoba oil. Now I do want to mention the consistency of this butter. I've been playing around this a couple of times. Um, so as you see, it is very very creamy here so it's very very soft butter because i think there's a high mixture of oils in this so the lot just remember the likelihood of this coming and melted to you uh during this uh, hot summer months is very very likely especially for any whipped butter as well uh so just remember when you get these products uh during the summer months you might as well just go ahead and stick them in the refrigerator let them sit for about 30 minutes just in case because you don't want to pop open that lid and it spill out everywhere. So just kind of remember that. So if you buy any kind of, really any butters from any company during the winter months, I mean, sorry, summer months, just go ahead and stick them in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and let, let, them, let them cool down. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the 
the fill and beard. beard. So when it comes to the fill and beard for the oil, uh, when it comes to the skin, definitely this job kept the beard itch away, never had a problem with the dryness. So did a good job with that. And when it comes to the beard hair itself, yeah, it did kept my beard uh, soft uh, all day. So they, they did enjoy that. And uh, when it comes to the beard butter, uh, th th there's a caveat to this, but uh, th there is, uh, we kept my beard nice and soft, you know, most of the day when I'm just sitting around the house, you know, relaxing, you know, things like that. But, but when it came to, come to work, it did not do as good of a job to be able to trap in that moisture. Because uh, my, my beard, beard started, started feeling dry, you know, throughout the day. But, you know, when I had to, when I drank more water, that softness came back. That's, a bit, just, that's because the butter was not allowing the moisture to be trapped in. The washer being able to escape because this more have a higher consistency consistency of oils in here, whereas the butters and the waxes are going to help trap in that moisture from your hair and not be able to make it feel as dry. So my water in the take did have to increase quite a bit when I was, um, you know, wearing this butter. So overall, definitely good butter when you're just relaxing around the house. That come up good nice and stuff all day, but. Uh, when I'm wearing uh, at work, uh, I had to go with a more thicker type butter to uh, trap in that moisture. Uh, and, but again, water intake is really good for you, but I, I drink almost a gallon a day, and, and with this, I had to uh, drink even more. So, But overall, just that's my thoughts on this, uh, this these products. So uh, remember, I will have a link to his Etsy shop in the description below if you want to go check him out. Remember, remember keep, keep your beers and stashes healthy. Until next video. video.